Hey everybody, there's my little buddy sleeping. He's real excited about this game. Uh, I have done all the strategy phase stuff. Also, I forgot to mention that when they uh, have more damage than their health amount, I give them a wound card and take damage away equal to their health. So Lieutenant Bigfoot had five damage on him. I took four away, gave him a wound card, and uh, left one on him. Just for an example, Golden Boy here had a bunch of damage. I took his wound card, and each one is different. So attacks targeting you get minus one combat die, etc. Or plus one. And they go into your hand, and they have to be played, or if you ever get three in your hand at once, you die. So, um, the Liberty Patrol has initiative, so they'll go first, but another, something that I keep forgetting about Lieutenant Bigfoot is that he allows an adjacent ally to take back a card. Now, Night Vigilante is adjacent to him, so he'll take back a card, and it's going to be... the radio. So, that is happening. Now you'll notice here that armor is out of cards, so at the end of this round he'll pick up all of his cards and be completely refreshed with cards. So, cards! <clears throat> yeah. So we have the top of the round and Liberty, Liberty Patrol is going first, starting with Supernova. Supernova has her weakness out. At the end of her activation phase, every enemy can move one area, and she heals by discarding a number of damage tokens equal to her health value. She only has two, but she's discarding them. And all the weakness cards allow you to discard damage. And over here she's got additional move, additional defense, and additional intelligence, which is going to come in handy because she's going to try to disarm a missile. So she's going to roll... Uh, normally it would be seven dice. It's going to be six now because of that minus one. And she's got to get under four. Which she didn't do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She's going to put another minus one on there. And then she's going to try it again. One, two, three, four, five. She's still not getting it. Another minus one. And for her third action, she will try again. <laughs> she still can't get it. That's five. It's minus four for her now. She's used up all three of her actions. She ended her activation in a robot's zone. So she's going to get attacked twice by these two. They both roll three dice. It's an android and a gynoid. So the android rolls three. Her defense is six. She's fine. Gynoid rolls three. She's fine again. That's it for her turn. Supernova did pretty much jack, but at least she's not rolling as many dice next time. So now we have Lieutenant Bigfoot. Lieutenant Bigfoot is playing a wound card. And you see here he can't perform a move action or he can't attack. So he's going to choose not to be able to do a move action. And attacks that target him must succeed with at least one POW to deal any damage. But he's got plus five attack. So he's going to try to tear up Sergeant Freedom. Or does he go against Golden Boy? Because Golden Boy's already wounded, and if he can get more wound cards in there... Yeah, yeah, he's going to tear up Golden Boy. So he's rolling four die, four, sorry, four and one. Let's get him out. Golden Boy has a defense of seven right now, so that's a little bit disgusting. First attack is three, so nothing. Second action attack is four, five, nothing. Third action, one, two, three, four, five, six. And he did a seven. Did not, did not damage Golden Boy. Golden Boy said, Tang, what you got, son? That's exactly what he said. Next up is Sergeant Freedom for the Liberty Patrol. 
Sergeant Freedom has a necessary sacrifice. He can redirect any attack that targets him to an excuse me to an adjacent ally. And he's got minuses to his attack, but pluses to his defense and his movement. So I think maybe he's feeling like going over and helping out Supernova, except that it wouldn't really do him a whole lot of good. Because they're not really hurting her. But they might if she starts losing defense points. So I think he's going to spend an action. Hmm, I don't think armor's not wounded either. I think he's going to What's he going to do? I guess pound on Lieutenant Bigfoot. I guess. But he's minuses to his attacks. See, this is him dumping cards, basically. He gets plus one power die to all attack rolls. Is something I've forgotten. So, why don't we do that? Why don't he roll... He's going to roll three dice, minus one, but plus one red for his power die, and he needs a six. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. So that was a that was a hell of a wallop. And he put two damage on Lieutenant Bigfoot. Second attack. One, two, three, four. Four damage is not going to do it. And third attack. One, two, three, not going to do it. Lieutenant Bigfoot soaked it up. All right, that's it for Liberty Patrol number two. Armor goes next. Now, Armor has a weakness out. He can't move, and he's going to remove damage equal to his health. So that goes that one. He's got uh, pluses to attack and defense, but he really wants to try to disarm another missile. So I think what he's going to do, he's going to leave that robot there because killing it, no. Well, they get to control the robots because uh, Liberty Patrol started. So, yeah, he'll leave that robot there. And then we've got him at the panel here. So he's going to roll seven dice and try to get three or less. Not bloody likely. So on six dice, he's got five. It doesn't even, there's no reason to roll it. But he got six, so that's not enough. But it will put a minus one on there for him. So the next try will be easier. Uh, he's got two more actions. He's going to try that again. So this time rolling six dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not going to do it. Another minus one. Now he's rolling five dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not doing it either. <laughs> They're both having some trouble getting to the computers there. Alright, so that's it for armor. And the final round for the Liberty Patrol is Golden Boy. Golden Boy has adjacent allies getting plus two defense. And he's got throw ally. So he can toss the ally at somebody. He's actually going to do that now. He's going to throw um, Sergeant Freedom to an area that he has line of sight to, but he doesn't have line of sight to that. So he's going to throw him here. And Sergeant Freedom's going to get a free attack. In this case, him damaging armor is a not an easy thing to imagine, so Sergeant Freedom's going to attack that robot. He knows that Night Squad's going to control them this round. So he's going to roll two dice plus one red. He needs, to, he needs to hit four, and he hits six. So this android goes away. Now Golden Boy has two more actions. And what does he want to do? 
They need to stop Golden Boy. Or, sorry, they need to stop Armor. But there's no spots in there left. So he's going to... Go after Lieutenant Bigfoot, I guess. He's got three attack. You know what? He's going to go here to maintain the two defense on him, and then he's going to attack uh, Lieutenant Bigfoot. He's only got three dice. That's four, five, six. He needed a six to hit, so that's another damage on Lieutenant Bigfoot. Not bad for just a little tiny bit of dice. And then finally for the Night Squad is the Night Vigilante. Night Vigilante has a weakness. He's minus one on all values as long as an ally is on his tile, except health. And remove number damage equal to his health. So there's that happen. He's fine. Of course, he's also wounded. He's minus one to his intelligence, which is fine. He can't really do much intelligizing anyway. Um, I think he wants to go up and pound on Supernova. So he's going to spend a movement and an action there, and then he's going to punch uh, Supernova in the face with three dice. For two, and her defense is six, so that's not going to work, but at least he's in position for next round. And that's it for our heroes and our other heroes. So that's the end of the round. The missile is in the air. Now we have uh, the robots moving, so the night squad is going to move the robots. Um, they're going to move her here. They're going to move him here. You know, we had all kinds of light, of people ending activations on tiles with robots. Um, that gynoid's going to shoot at... Night Vigilante with two hits, two additional hits. That's going to be four, five, six. His defense is four, so Night Vigilante takes a hit. That would have been after he moved, so his weakness would have already taken, been taken into account. Um, then this one, this guy, Noid, is also going to attack because he ended in line of sight of him. So she's going to attack uh, Night Vigilante as well for two. His defense is actually three because of his weakness. And then this one is going to attack Golden Boy because Golden Boy moved over for four. His defense is seven. All right. And then ending their activation adjacent in the zone, so we're going to get one attack from that guy and one attack from her. So they're both going to be against Supernova. Nothing. And two. That's not going to hit Supernova. Uh, she's going to attack Golden Boy. For four, that's not enough. And that's it for that. Then we do f uh, moves. So if she's going to move one and attack, no, she's going to move here and attack him. She's going to stay where she is and attack him. Uh, he's going to just move in here. Those guys are going to stay where they are. She's going to move there. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Everybody's moved. So we have. Actually, he's just going to move here so he can keep attacking her. One on Supernova, two on Golden Boy, and then two more on Golden Boy. And the arachnoids have an ability I forgot, which is each arachnoid adjacent to a target adds plus one. Uh, to their attack. So we'll start with this against Supernova. Three is not going to do it. 
I've got two attacks on Golden Boy. Not bloody likely. So three is not going to do it. Four is not going to do it. You need a seven. So uh, the arachnoids are three dice plus one because they have bros next to them. One, two, three, four. That's not hitting. One, two. That's not hitting either. So that's good. Now we roll to see who explodes. So the one up there with Supernova does explode. So everyone in the tile takes three. One, two, three, four. So four damage isn't going to hit Supernova, but it is going to hit Night Vigilante. So, bop, and he dies. Uh, so for her, yes, this is going to hit only Hero, so it doesn't hit the other robot. So this is on. Uh, Lieutenant Bigfoot. Three. Uh, this is on both of them actually. Three damage isn't going to hit anyone. But she did explode. Now the other one in that square. Nothing. Now we got the two arachnoids there. First one explodes. Nobody's in the zone with them. Nope. Uh, the gynoid behind him. Yes. And then we got three gynoids here. I'm just gonna roll three dice. Nobody exploded. Got two androids back there. Nobody exploded. One gynoid there. Nope. And three gynoids in the back there. Nope. And that's it. That's it for exploding robots. Now we make new robots, and they're gonna be arachnoids this time. You can see where this becomes a bit of a a challenge if you decide that you need to stop and fight robots. Which, who doesn't need to fight robots in general? Alright. That's it for the end of the turn. Now we have to disable two, three more missiles before the next two rounds or three rounds are over. So... Actually, when the missile hits the hit square, we lose everyone. So, let's see what happens. Alright, I'll do the strategy phase now, I'll be right back. Actually, I'll end the episode here, so thanks for watching and stay tuned.